Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, 18 Cross Trick Man. This is Brandon, and today we're going to do a quick install of the OEM crossbars. So these crossbars I got when I purchased the car, I actually didn't pay um, to add them as an accessory, but I'm guessing it came in some package, or either the salesman accidentally put it in there. I'm not really sure, but I did get them, so I'm not complaining. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick install of how to put the OEM crossbars onto the car. Here I'm just going to show you the packaging real quick of what the crossbars come in if you were to order it, um, you know, after you purchase the car or even if you purchase it um, when you make your order. Um, it comes in this box right here. So this is the box. This is the part number if you are looking to purchase it. So E361SF-L400. Okay, and then the contents included are the front crossbar, the rear crossbar, and you the instructions and what I was going to say was I actually went and got my T30 um, Torx head screwdriver because that is the required tool, but you do get one included in the kit. So you do not need your own, you do okay, get it. Okay, so I'm reading through the instructions on how to install it. So the first things first is installing the front crossbar, and this is a good note here. Front crossbar is longer than the rear crossbar. So um, this is the front one, and then this is the rear one because I pretty much lined it up almost identical. You can see it's a little off, but you can definitely tell when you go up to the top, it's longer. And I think one thing also I noticed is the front one actually has the uh, warning sticker for how much load capacity um, you could put. And if you looked in the manual, you can kind of see it does show like a sticker. I think on the rear, where's the rear? Yeah, it doesn't have anything. So that's another way you can tell. Um, it has the uh, load capacity sticker and it says uh, 150 pounds evenly distribu distributed and minimize wind noise when sunroof is tilted open. We recommend that the front customers be installed as far forward. And I'll just leave that on the screen. I'm not gonna read it all. Okay, so that's a good little note there. Um, but going back to installing the front crossbar, so let's go back to his instructions here. Okay, so know the front crossbar, and first thing first, loosen screw, do not remove. So we'll go ahead and do that. And swing lower clamp for 80 degrees. Okay, so starting with the install, we're just gonna loosen this T30 Torx head screwdriver. After we do that, we just go ahead and turn this 100. And 80 degrees. Another thing to note is where is it? Right here, you can actually see it shows left. So, left on this side, you can see it shows right. So, you know which side goes where. So, once you loosen it, and I actually took the screw off because the side was causing me a little bit more trouble, um, this actually slides. So, you can see this slides because um, this is, I think, made like a universal. Subaru crossbar for like the Outback, Forester, and so forth. So just slide it into the position you want it at. Um, and it pretty much just falls right on like that. So it's perfect. Okay, so like that. It's nice and solid and that is the front crossbar. So let's go to the back. Let's just read the instructions real quick. Rear crossbar is shorter in the front. Yes, we know that. Um, and same procedure. Loosen the screw and turn the bottom part 180 degrees. Then you just clamp it on, just like how I did the front, and then swing that bottom part back under so it grips it, and then tighten it up, and you'll be set. There you go. So you see it. And now let me check for the left right. Let's see where is it? This actually it's upside down, but you can see L for left. And from my observation, it looks like one side doesn't slide. So one side is you know locked, and the other side you can slide to adjust the length. And then like I said, if we can see that this part, it just slides under. I'm gonna leave them on. I know they say you should probably not keep them on, 
due to the gas mileage. Um, it'll decrease a little bit or even the wind noise, but it's just easier. So you don't have to do that on and off every time. Um, and I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks kind of cool. It gives it more of a ruggedness look. Um, and I can say the material is actually really nice. This is like a nice, um, I don't know, a nice really sturdy plastic. But this piece right here is a nice aluminum steel. I'm not sure, but it's really solid. And one thing I can note is I had it on the 2013 WRX hatch. I had the OEM crossbars and they were not as sturdy as this. This piece was a lot more flimsy. It didn't feel as secure. And even these side pieces, they feel more solid. So it's a, overall, I would say it's a nice uh, OEM crossbar. Um, but I know, you know, there's aftermarket, so definitely those are available. But I got these when I got the car, so I'm not complaining. Okay, so thank you for watching how to install the OEM crossbars on my 2018 Crosscheck. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.